Hey, what's going on, party people? It's the PM Marquis, and welcome back to my page, or welcome to my page if you haven't been here before. Yes, I'm coming to you barefaced today because I just don't feel like it. And today is not about me. I'm bringing you a get ready with me. Well, not with me, but a get ready uh, tutorial today with a good friend and client of mine. I did incorporate some fun shadows today since that's not something I usually have on my page. As always, if you do like, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share so all your buddies can know that I'm here. Enjoy the look, hope you love it. As always, starting with a clean and moisturized face. Going in here with the Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer. Brushing through the brows with a spoolie before I start anything. Here I'm going in with the Anastasia Dip Brow in Chocolate. And here I wanted to really, really, really show you guys what I mean by lifting that brow at the arch. You can clearly see here how that's helping me get really, really into that brow and define it even more. Just doing hair like brush strokes will really, really help you. And as you can clearly see, lifting that brow is just amazing and once again going with the spoolie to go ahead and kind of blend everything out showing you the same thing here on the opposite side lifting that brow getting right under there with that anastasia dip brow and chocolate once again hair like brush strokes you don't want to drag and smudge anything just take your time and as you can see those brows are coming together she did have a few spots here that i just felt needed to be filled in more so i just used a chanel brown pencil Going in and correcting my brows with the MAC Pro Conceal and Corrector Palette in NC42. Once again, I like to blend that concealer out immediately. Same thing on the other side, using that MAC Pro Conceal and Contour Palette. On the top, I like to feather out the concealer. As you can see, I like to go straight up to the line and like pull it straight out. Um, I can get close to the line and make that line as neat as I like to have it. And once again, blending out at the top, doing the same there with that Real Techniques brush. Here I'm going in with my first eyeshadow color. It's a brown from a um, Sephora palette actually. Followed up by um, a red here. All of these colors that I'll be using for the rest of the shadows come from the Juvia's Place Green Palette. Um, I'm using that more matte red. It does have some shimmer in it, but I'm using that as the first color over that brown from that um, Sephora palette I had, which was just a nudes palette. Then I go in with the not darkest brown, but like closest to the darkest brown, still right in that Juvia's palette. Um, and then with another dark brown to go ahead and add some dimension into the socket. I am always using the same blending brush here. It is a eyeshadow blending brush by Chanel. And I'm using it for all the colors just to keep that blended out like the way that I like. I then go in with the gold that does have the shimmer um, in it from the Juvia's Place. Once again, the, all of these colors come from that palette, except for the original brown I used under all of the color here. Here you'll see me blending out all of the colors, especially that red, just blending it out as much as I can into that crease um, and even blowing it out even up more toward the brow bone. I'm going to even a little bit of that gold. I'm using the Contour Shadow Blender Brush number 20, also by Chanel. So we went ahead and added lashes off camera, um, just because. The liner I'm using today is the NYX NYX Professional Makeup Epic Ink Liner in black. For foundation today, I use the BH Cosmetics Liquid Foundation. Actually mixing two colors, the hazelnut and the mocha, to match her skin um, a little more perfectly. For a highlight concealer, I did use LA Girl. Yes, I said LA Girl. Uh, the color Creamy Beige Concealer for her under eye concealer. Stop hating on LA Girl. To set her concealer, I used the Airspun Loose Powder. And now you see me going in with the Black Radiance Contour Kit to contour her nose using the Sculpt Color from the Medium Deep Palette. 
I do brush that all the way up to the brow to go ahead and blend that in some more and separate any shadow that might have went too far up to the brow bone. The contour I'm using for the ring around her face is actually the Chanel Press Powder in number 70. And then I'm going ahead with my Rinky Dink brush to go ahead and get rid of any excess powder. The blush is brought to you by BH Cosmetics from their Blush and Contour Kit, and it's just the orange that's in there. The highlight, believe it or not, is Victoria's Secret. It doesn't exist anymore, but it's a bad highlighter, ain't she? For that extra twinkle of highlight we like to do now, I'm using the Chanel Solar Tan on the tip of her nose and on the bridge of her nose and blending out just with a little smudge brush. The lip liner is a Chanel brown lip liner. I didn't feel like digging for it. They're all good, honestly. The lip is that NYC lip I told you guys about before in Mocha. Right now, I'm just going back in um, with some mascara on the lower lashes to make them pop. I went in and added liner. Little spray of the Pixie Glow Mist. Last minute dusting with the MAC Loose Powder in Deep. And that's the look. That was the look. I really, really, truly hope you enjoyed. Once again, if you did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share, and let them know that the PM Marquee is here. As always, I will be here because I've got more in store for you. So come on.